where would I be if I never had the chance? Where would I be if I never had the vision? Where would I be if I never chased my dream? I'd never Come to fruition. And cut. I got started with the athletics department just being an athlete by myself. Uh, I'm on the track team here and most of the athletes know each other here because it's such a small school and that's how I met Jay in passing. So one day he told me that the athletics department needed help filming a football game which I thought was crazy because I would definitely love to do that. I thought I could go back to my high school days when I used to film for the teams there in Texas and in California. So. I immediately went and filmed for them. They loved my work and they asked me to come back several times. And then I thought, you know, maybe I could make something more of this. And then Jay approached me and told me that there was an internship opportunity and I was ecstatic. I jumped right on it from there. Been working with the athletics department ever since. This internship has proven to be so much more than I thought it would be. I've edited films, filmed everything from lacrosse, basketball, football, to even my own sport track and helped conduct interviews all year long and it's been an amazing experience and adventure. I'm really glad that I did get the internship on campus because being so far away it's been really hard to uh, find an internship at all and it's the convenience of being on campus is just so much better. Most people don't actually know that I'm usually in class all day long, take a break from class and then go run to the internship to help film, then go back to class, then run back to practice. It's been a struggle to balance track and this internship, but it's definitely turned out to be a lot more than I thought it would be. I've had my best season in high jump so far, and I've produced some of the most amazing videos that I've ever seen. So I'm just really glad for this experience. Um, well, it all started when um, I met Kevin, me and Kevin were on a uh, trip back to Pittsburgh from our track meet, I think it was like our second one, and he was editing a video uh, of the, you know, the events that were going on, and, you know, he looked at my computer and asked me, you know, what I was doing, and I was making beat at the time, and I asked him what he was doing, and uh, he was editing a video and everything like that, and, um, you know, the conversation ended up going, you know, towards me making beats for the athletic department. And I guess it's one of those things, like, your opportunities will come, you just got to be patient with them. You know, th this has really helped me grow as, as a person, as an uh, audio producer, um, and it's gotten me work in my field that I didn't think I would ever do until maybe my last year in college. And I'm only a sophomore and I'm doing all this now. Um, so the experience here has definitely been amazing um, with, with what's been going on so far. And I can't thank Kevin enough for bugging me a little bit <laughs> to, um, you know, to get me to do this. And Jay for giving me an opportunity and everyone that I've worked with so far. Uh, it's been truly, truly amazing. And I, um, I can't thank them guys enough. It's funny how day by day nothing seems to change, but looking back, everything's different. Uh, for me, looking back to the beginning of this internship seems like a completely different lifetime. Um, it all started the summer after my freshman year, and I was giving tours for the admissions office. So I was around campus every day, uh, and I happened to meet a basketball coach um, for the men's basketball team. And we got to talking about my major. Um, I'm a broadcast journalism major, so I was hoping that I could get involved with the basketball team. Um, a few days later, I got an email from Nicole Brogno, and she wanted to 
have me come in and talk about some of my ideas. Um, so when I went in to meet with her, I was so excited to hear that she wanted me to basically do whatever I wanted to do. She was really open to what I had to say, um, things that I wanted to do. Uh, so all of a sudden it was the first home football game um, and Nicole introduced me to Jay. She just told me to kind of follow him around during the game. He'd tell me what to do. At the end of the game, he had me go down to the field and was like, you're going to do a post-game interview. He was like, you're going to interview the, the head football coach who I had never met. Um, so I was really nervous, had no idea what I was doing, didn't know what I was going to say. Um, he used my iPhone, uh, had me stand on the field, and it happened to be really windy that day. Um, so I did the interview. At the end, I had no idea how to wrap it up, so I made some really silly face. But I'll never forget my very first interview was with Coach Schmidt uh, after the Dukes beat Valparaiso. Um, and that was definitely the day that I truly became a Dukes fan. This internship with the athletic department made me realize how much I love sports and that I want to be a sportscaster. But it also has opened up so many doors. I never knew how to use a camera or how to edit video and I now realize that I love every aspect of video production. I love photography, I love shooting, I love editing. Uh, I just I love the way that I feel once I finally have a, a finished product and it can bring some sort of emotion to somebody. Um, and I like being able to show somebody more than what they they get at first glance just watching a game on the field or on the court. I just can't. Well, my second year at Duquesne, um, fall semester, I was nominated president of the campus TV station. At the same time, I started working in the control room um, for the basketball games, and Jay reached out to me to schedule a meeting because he wanted to help create a partnership between the athletics department and the TV station. So we met, um, introduced ourselves because we didn't know each other at all, and we immediately began talking and trying to figure out how we could come up with something to just bond the two together. And, you know, we were both new leaders and we both had new responsibilities and we became really tied up so nothing really came of it but everything doesn't necessarily happen when you expect it to so you know we just eventually we met up again this past fall of my third and final undergraduate year now jay and i we just ran into each other in front of Palumbo. He was about to go inside and I was about to go home. He had mentioned an internship opportunity then and there. He told me again, you know, it's, it's time to work. Like, are you still interested? And I was like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like it was, I felt like it was something that I was like, I was prepared for then after having served as a president for a year with the TV station and just coming into myself, honestly, as a person, as a student and just finding my fit at Duquesne, it like it just everything made sense. It automatically just served its own purpose and I was comfortable with it and I was excited for it and that's how it all began. I think it's extremely important that Duquesne extends these opportunities to us because it's these experiences where we get to meet other people. We get to know each other even more than we have before. And these are experiences that I'm going to take with me forever. <laughs> Everything's amazing. I remember when all of this was just a thought, wanting to make a difference, you know, being immersed in a pool full of creativity. Although it's not about me, I'm always just trying to work at the highest level that I can, you know, to inspire, be of an influence, I guess. I know it's necessary to give student athletes the opportunity to tell their story from their point of view. And the first time I worked with Jay was a, was a coach's one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, the one thing about Jay is the meticulousness that he has with what he does, his craft. You know, he always makes sure that, that if it's not the right way, 
he wants to do it again. And he always takes his time to make sure that everything is done right. You hit it on rules. You hit it on rules. You hit it on rules, man. Me, myself, I can't take all the credit at all. I, I work with a team of five interns. Ian Welsh is sitting here filming us now. Ali White, Cherie, Key, Shannon Chavez, and Kevin Yaka. All of us got together and we really just tapped into every department on campus that we could, whether it was broadcast, journalism, a video department. And we tried to pull out the best talent. And it might not even have been the best talent at the time, but just kids that were hungry and really wanted to, to get better at what they did. And they came in and they volunteered their time and we are just trying to make the best product that we can when we put it out. Okay, a little sneak freak. Tell me about the uh, film. Oh, uh, well, this is, this is the first shot of the day. It's 5.45 in the morning. We're heading up to the Bluff, Bluff Street to do the first shot. Um, Jay Spinks is uh, behind the scenes of Behind the Duke. The first uh, episode of Behind the Duke. It's a secret. We're featuring it on Sean Johnson. So you're all the first to know. Stay tuned. I enjoy every area that this position entails, whether it be producing videos for the website or individual teams, yeah. coaching and teaching the interns that I work with on a daily basis. But overall, my favorite part of the job, hands down, will have to be the constant interaction with these student athletes. We know. We know. Just being able to ensure that their student athlete experience is as rich as it can and should be. I mean, at the end of the day, that's who it's about. I try my best to work with as many people as I can, especially if they're passionate about their craft. That's good energy. I need that. I thrive off of that. Crazy. Trying to be as less cliche as possible. I feel like yeah, that's a good. Call. That's that's like the problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I'm just here for the ideas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, no, we, we, we got some great that's stuff it. going no, on. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's it. Like, you give me the, the most important thing about everything I'd say that I learned is just to remain focused, set goals, surround yourself with positive people who can help you achieve them. And whatever you do, be passionate about it. Work at it wholeheartedly. Good things will come from that. Take a shot of my mind, bring it back to life, bring it around full circle, and I'm sure you'll find the one to be, the one to be, the one to be, the one, the one to be, the one to be, the one to be, the one. Take a shot of my mind, bring it back to life, bring it around full circle. And I'm sure he'll find the one to be, 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 the one to be. Do you think what you're talking about? Right now? Yeah, think right now. Just think what you just did. I don't know. The one to be, the one to be, the Keep going. And they mesh together. You hear that? What do you think, Rock? Um, I can't hear it from my head right now. We can try and see what it sounds like. Yeah. Take a shot of my mind Shannon Chavez Bring it back to life Bring it around full circle And I'm sure you'll find The one to be The one to be The one to be The one The one to be The one to be The one to be The one Jay Spence Take a shot of my mind And bring it back to life Bring it around full circle and I'm sure he'll find